Well, a funny thing just happened. Gilgamesh declared war on me. Which is something I would never expect to happen, but he did it. He's probably super pissed. And... I'm thinking that we might want to... The city is happy now. Actually, it was happy uh, before the Cold War. Now we are unhappy and he refuses to talk. He has some battle grams here and some units here. I don't know what he's gonna do. I will try to defend my city and I don't think he has enough units to threaten me. He has an insane amount of uh, battle grams though, that's for sure. Uh, but my units are now... Well, I'd say all of them are rusted. And can we build? Uh, well, I don't know if any defense is useful against a guy like that. School of Scribes. Oh my god, we have to build this. There's so many things to build in here. Seaweed farm. Hmm. Yeah, and unha unhappiness is again spreading through uh, the land. Everyone was getting really happy. Uh, it looked so well, but now it doesn't. Okay, let's send turn and see what he's up to. If he attacks me, good. We'll take him down. But I'm really starting to think that I might want to increase my army a bit, though. Yeah, it's just the Persians, but uh, it might not hurt. We have so much money and getting so much per turn that building an extra unit or two for each city, that would be around 1938 or... I don't know how many seas that would work. Oh my fucking god, he attacked one of my workboats. You bastard! You fucking bastard. How did he get here anyway? He probably was locked there. So you'll pay with your outrigger for this, dude. That was painful and it didn't have to be. Okay, there's another... Oh my god, am I attacking it with the galley? Oh, I'm such an idiot. That could have ended really wrong. I'm transporting the town watchman and I didn't realize it was the transport that I attacked with. God damn it, I have to be more careful about what I click. Okay, you're gonna go here. I would like... Oh yeah, here are his battering rams. Here are some axemen and people. Yeah, they've been... You know, some Uruk is very unhappy. Revolts this warning and it's going worse. God fucking damn it. How come this is not enough? <laughs> I have like every single unit that I can think of there, and it's not enough. So wait, you guys will attack the rams. How many? So yeah, three. Uh, okay, should be fine. Just destroy them. And I want to destroy only two. Because I don't want uh, to move any of my units outside of the city. Okay, so there is one battering ram left there. And there are two units here. So let's attack them. Okay, that guy is dead. And can we bombard? Should be able to. Yeah, we heard him. Uh, not much though, but we heard him. What about the defenses here? Oh, they're fine. They are really fine. Actually, we really need the fucking city to not revolt. Ah, <sighs> can I make more? That one is doing just jade carving, so I think it can send two guys down there. This sucks. I was happy that we ended the war, and now it's back where we started. So we don't go here. Do we have any ship here? Okay, you 
work here. Actually, you guys need to go there. I want to make like a. Well, they could come from here as well. How many shoes do we have? One, one, one. Okay, we'll just find some ships here or there. Okay, here we get some. Let's just take these free. Yeah, this is... Wait, they can go to the ocean? I'll go here. We'll see where that leads us. And do you have it? You have two. That's a boar galley and a tribeam. So I'll send you here. We'll see what that does. Okay, Patriarch in two turns. Ah, I wish he would talk. I don't want to fight him anymore. I guess I'll have to break his army. He doesn't have an army. It's just rams. Rams everywhere. Oh, but you know what they could do? They could raise Lagash. If that city is as weak as I remember it to be, raising it might be the thing to do. And we could take the two uh, population there, put one in Eridu and one in Uruk. For him being a douchebag and attacking us. It would also fix the problems with uh, our sphere of influence here. Is he still at war with... Is he? Yeah, the city is basically ours for the taking. It's just one battering ram. There's a couple of rams here and there. We could do that. Hmm. But, quite frankly, I'm not feeling entirely safe sending out unit to. He has none. Yeah, there seems to be no one. A really quick force, just a couple of units moving through the mountains could do it. So let's do it like this. The two healers, you guys, and the rams. Yeah, you can come here. That would be... I think that could work. We could actually take the arsonists too. I think that would be useful against the city. They can like get back in one turn if need comes be. Hmm. Okay, I'll just sail here, but this area is safe. Uh where are you guys here? All of you need to go here and you too as well. Okay, now you'll need to rest. But do we have any galleys nearby? That's uh Yeah, that's not a transport. And we need a transport. So get me four and three. Okay, you you'll work on that and unfortunately we'll have to build a couple more. But I guess that's the Pay we will price we will pay for the fact that he decided to declare war on us. Wait, it was up here, right? Somewhere, yeah. It's two workboats, three workboats. Oh, find the place for the third one. Now, oh, here is a enemy unit. So let's go there now. Yeah, you can. You can basically just stay here. We don't need you anywhere else. You guys so will go to Babylon. Uh, that's a safe spot. And you guys will go. Okay, we'll do it differently. We'll just send you. You are needed to make Uruk not fuck itself up. Okay, so now we'll have 
an operation going. We'll raise Lagash and try to negotiate with him. Hopefully that will work. I don't see any of his units coming back home fast enough to stop us from not taking Lagash. But we'll see. He could move in some of these rams and maybe this healer, but the city will fall nonetheless. It doesn't even have walls, so it's easy to take it down. Yeah, that's what he's doing right now. Oh, it lost population. What? Well, that shouldn't bother us. We should still get two uh, settlers from it, but... Okay, the Patriarchy is now available. So, let's see. It will be 12... Turns of Revolution to Oh my god. Hmm. A matriarchy lowers the maintenance. It doesn't even increase the matriarchy. doesn't seem like such a bad thing in this game. Maybe the best proof that the language is patriarchal is that it oversimplifies feeling. Hmm. I don't even I don't even know who Jeffrey Eugenides is to be honest, but well, this leads directly to another, and we have brass working now. And after brass working, we'll get wait, where is brass working? Where's dualism? Okay, we'll get brass working. Oh, it's here. Then monophasm and then monarchy. Awesome. And we'll fall into a state of anarchy. So who's there? Two bad rings, an archer, and a town watchman. So let's find good use for these rams. 75%. So it's now over to 34. Send in one more. Lowered it to 14. Which should be more than enough for us to take it. Please survive. You're, you're all the best. This, this, this is like the best of the best in my army. The first attack is always the hardest one, but... Okay... Now there's... Five batteries, fuck me... Uh, but, that's good. We'll get more experience and some of the units will stay back uh, to defend the uh, wounded units. Well, Sumeria, you did this to yourself. I'm not the one who actually wanted to attack. It's you. Okay, how many people can now attack? We'll have to be really careful here. Okay, and there's one last. So we'll move in. You guys. You guys, you guys, and the two healers. Okay, seems about right. And we will erase the city. Okay, and we got only one citizen out of that, but that is fine. We'll keep the healers here, and the citizen... Okay, he can't go there, so let's move in just here. And hold him there. Oh, that is cool. This entire area has been swallowed by... Uh, is that the Aztecs? Known as Ethiopia. And they like me too. <laughs> nice. Oh, God. Sumerians. I have nothing to say to you. Well, fuck you then. It's your own goddamn fault. You know, I didn't want to do this. You forced my hand. So stop making me feel bad, game. I didn't want to do this. 
Now, how are the cities here? Uruk is very unhappy. Yeah, but rebel situation is okay. There's four unhappiness, but we will be able to do that. How come, though, that it is still only 9% Babylonian? I don't understand the effect of how this works, because Eridu, we got that way later, and it is now... what? 80% Babylonian? Yeah, 80% Babylonian. So that's a bit a bit weird if you ask me. Like there has to be some sort of sense to this. Okay, you guys will hold here. You will hold here, you guys will wait. So let's see his counterattack. Opis will grow. Good. So Sumerians are slowly decaying nation. They got just one city now. And if they piss me off, I might actually attack that one as well and take and raise it, but I wish I could take it. But that would basically cripple my nation. Everyone would get so unhappy. Can you imagine that? It would be awful. I'd much rather see uh see the Ethiopians take it. Spanish nation is asking us for help. They want the oratory. What are our relations? Years of peace have strengthened our relationship. We appreciate the years you have supplied us with resources. Our open borders have brought our people close together. Our trade relations have been fair and forthright. We let our ambassadors in. Where are they? This is Spanish. Oh wow, they're really weak. Sure, I'll help you. You gave us help. Oh, you bastards, give me monophism. Yeah, he doesn't want. He can't give me anything, but I'm okay with that. So, who is promoted? These guys. They have city, gar city garrison. Really? Under 1 and to the death 2. Just the garrison 2. We could promote the unit to the barbarian hunter. Or to the animal hunter. Or industrial espionage. Huh. To the death. No, I guess we'll just... We're a city attacker, so have some city attack. What about you guys? Okay, you are all okay. So go back home. I'm gonna send you here. And... You guys can go back to the city. And stay there. And I'm gonna join the city with the citizen that I just uh, got them. You guys will wait here. It's okay. So this seems uh, like a good place to end it for now. And I'll get back uh, when we get brass working. Let's see if there is anything interesting happening, but uh, you think not. I can't believe that we still haven't met the other nations, the two stronger nations that are in the game. It's basically like a triumvirate of me and them. But I have no idea where they are. This should be the entire map by now. So there has to be like this huge empire here and this huge empire here. I can't imagine it the other way. It's fucking ridiculous, man. Yeah, it doesn't even allow me to see that part. So where the hell are those people? You know, I can't... I can't even... Just go in here and rest. Oh, you bastards! They destroyed my fishing boat! 
Oh, now you ask for it. Why can't you fucking reach them? That is so annoying. Well, get out. And hold the city. You guys are bringing in more city garrison units. Okay, if this doesn't help the city, then I don't know what will, because we have now... Look at that, so much garrison there. It's insane. Okay, you guys are going to protect this fishing boat. Oh, it works. And we'll hunt these bastards down the next one. I want you guys to see that because it's going to be an execution, basically. Do you have any more? No, it's just a cache. Oh, and they got Nibru here as well. I remember speaking about them and Ur. Axum is here. <laughs> it's really fucked up that they attacked me. Why would they do that? It makes no sense. Really. And they're just hurting me, like... Yeah, they're, they're doing whatever they can to hurt me, that's true. There just isn't much to not understand on that. Well, they're pondering because that's what they do. You know, they hate me and they want to kill me, so that's why they ponder. It's actually very reasonable from them. But I hate them nonetheless. Come on. Okay, so now let's see. Take that, you bastards. And you guys will hold here. And you guys will hold us for did is it no it's still saying warning and worsening. I can't understand why, but it is. So that's what it is. Now you as the fishing boat will go here. I guess I'll put you guys here. No, that's a galley. You know what, I guess so. I'll put you guys here. And hold. And you guys here. That way they can't exit the bay. We're basically blocking them in there. You guys will come here. And the question is, should I send... A citizen to here, or send him here? Ah oh, no, join Eridu. Because that city is okay, it's not revolting against me. I guess it might be because there was no influence uh, on the city, so it's turning Babylonian really fast, while Uruk might be struggling against the influence of this city. That might be what it is. I'm trying to improve the happiness, though. That might be the wrong way to go around it. Hmm. Are we putting the dance hall dime frame sand pit? I think I might go with the dance hut first. Our lumps will lower the. Oh, we don't need to lower the crumb at all anymore. But. Well, let's keep it as it is, and I'm gonna prioritize it then. Anyway, this is uh, the end for now. I'm gonna skip ahead to the brass working. I don't think he's gonna talk. Oh, he will! Okay, you fucking idiot, man. I want you to make peace with Menelik. You want sacrifice cult and stargazing. You know what? Reject your meaningless threats. If I give you bison, forget it. Bison and lobster? And maybe some alcohol? And barrels? No thanks. 
Sacrifice card. Okay, so if I give him more, he will accept it, which is good, because I don't want him finding the neighbor. Cloth. And sponges. Your generosity is underwhelming. Forget it. Raw fish. I'm just giving him things that we don't need, that we have so many. We don't need them. He still wants to sacrifice cult. Okay, crit table, fuck you. You can get raped by... Actually... What about the Ethiopians? They might be... Irrigation. Did that? No, okay, we're not demanding it, we just ask him nicely. <laughs> well, but let them fight it out. I don't really care, to be honest. 